set to go here in South Bend. And after last night, Notre Dame now has only one loss in their last seven meetings with Merrimack. And a victory tonight would give the Irish their first 10-game unbeaten streak overall in almost five years. Spaxman in front of the net. Lost control of the puck. It's in the blue paint. It's tipped home. They score! Bit of a mad scramble in front of the net. And this morning, Coach Mark Dennehy told me they didn't do a good enough job coming down and protecting the house. And you're seeing that happen right here. Ethan Spaxman doesn't really have the proper communication with his goaltender. So Colin Dealey doesn't know if he's supposed to freeze this puck or keep it moving. Notre Dame converges on the net. And you see Sam here. Just win that loose puck battle off his knees and poke that one home for the first goal of the evening. It's right point Hurley. DePauli goes up top. Gilbert throws it near the right goal line. Lucia from five feet away tonight. Rebound chance. Fogarty tips it. So what does he do? He pump fakes the shot, draws everyone to him, and leaves Mario Lucia alone in front of the net. So time has expired in the first period. One goal put on the board. It was by the senior from Hinsdale, Illinois, Notre Dame Sam Hare. His sixth goal of the season, unassisted at 526. Bjork now near the left goal line. Passes left point, Nardella. Skates left circle. Wrist shot scores! Nardella! He rips it past the goaltender. There's Bobby Nardella ripping that one past Paul Delia. He's going to look past Sam here, who's in front. That's why he's able to make that save. Sam here makes it tough for the goaltender. He has to look over his shoulder. Bobby Nardella takes that ice back. Here's Nardella with speed. Over the Merrimack line, left side. He got by Lashin. Here comes Nardella. Cuts toward the goal. Throws it in front. Lucci scores! Well, Merrimack turns the puck over the neutral zone. There's Bobby Nardella again, aggressive from the point position. Takes the puck in wide, holds on to it, shows a lot of poise and patience. And Mario Lucia showing offensive instincts, driving hard to the back post, which you're supposed to do. And then he's strong on the bottom hand there. That's it for 40 minutes, and the Irish head to the second intermission in control of this game, leading Merrimack College by a score of 3 to nothing. Delia stopped it for Merrimack. Sini, right wing, high slot, left circle, shoots, scores! What a solo effort there by Brett Sini, taking the puck to the neutral zone with a lot of speed. And when you see the defenseman's backing up below the top of the circles, you go east to west to cut across it, improve your shooting angle. That's exactly what Brett Sini does here. And now he's looking to take the shot. Not like last night, he looked to pass that puck. A beautiful feed, high slot, Bjork, turns, shoots, scores! Wow. If you want to know what Anders Bjork brought back from the World Junior Championships? It's this, confidence, stopping on a dime, and then the quick release past Colin Delia, snapping that one over his glove. That quick stop there eludes Hampus Gustafsson, and then he fires the puck top corner. Zone draw for Notre Dame. They win it. Gross between the circles. Wrist shot in and out of the glove of the goaltender. Delia puckins up behind the net. Bjork from right wing to the high slot. Now to Hare. He shoots. He scores. Hare from the left circle. He Once again, you've got Anders Bjork in the neutral zone making things happen. Merrimack backs in a little bit too deep in the defensive zone. And there's Sam Hare with a nice little Sam snapshot. He's able to elude Hampus Gustafsson and put that one over the shoulder. The Fighting Irish have a 10-game unbeaten streak. It's the longest active streak of the country and tied for the sixth longest in program history. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Fighting Irish winner. The Irish have swept Merrimack College in this two-game series at Lefty Smith Rink. Notre Dame wins last night, 7-2, a 5-1 victory for the University of Notre Dame tonight. The 13th ranked Irish are now 12-4-7.